guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, my name's Joe. I'm one half of the Moochers, so the other half is Chloe. Uh, she is doing a quarantine in another room on another floor because uh, if you're not married, um, you basically have to do this. You have to quarantine separately. Um, so this video is going to focus on the costs. What well, everyone wants to know, how much does it cost to get to Thailand right now? So this um, is before we, we leave quarantine, so everything we've paid for up to now. Um, I'm going to break it down. I know, I know we mentioned costs within the last two videos, but I really want to focus this video, just make it short, make it snappy, uh, so people can then rather replicate it or, or look at alternatives. And I'll also give you some alternatives which might make it a little bit cheaper for you as well. Um, so hit the intro. So the first cost are your flights. So um, we booked a one-way flight, Manchester to Bangkok, and it costs 350 English pounds. I put the conversions up here. Um, so basically we flew with Etihad, so if you're coming from the UK I definitely recommend Etihad, they were probably the best price. Also we actually booked a flight last year which got cancelled and they said stay with them, they'll give us £100 extra each to our flights as credit and also some miles so uh, they treated us very well with everything that went on and allowed us to stay with them. Um, so yeah, obviously your flight costs will depend on where you're coming from and also you can fly directly to Phuket um, but this costs a lot more as well. Um, so yeah, first price, flights. So next is your alternative state quarantine, your ASQ hotel. Uh, so we actually paid 32,000 baht per 16 days for the full quarantine. Uh, so that's about 770 English pounds. I'll actually put the conversion up here. Um, and basically these can actually range. So your price can start at about 27,000. I think it's the cheapest I've seen. And they go all the way up to about 50 to 60,000. Obviously the higher end you get in a lot more. I think you get um, access, private access to gyms. You can also get a private pool, a really nice balcony, huge rooms. Um, whereas 27,000 gets you the bare minimum, a smaller room. Some of them don't even have a balcony. So we paid 32,000, which was the cheapest we could find for what we wanted. So a big enough room. The reviews are really good for things like food and the service. Um, and also this has a little balcony, whereas Chloe actually doesn't. Uh, but we'll show you that on the next video. Um, we're gonna do a full review of the ASQ Hotel experience. Um, so I'll put in the link in the description a link of an alternative state quarantine Facebook group and also a couple of websites that you can find these as well. So that's the hotel cost. So the next cost is your health insurance, your medical insurance. So this has to cover a hundred thousand US dollars and also include any issues caused by the pandemic. So it cost for three months. So we've just done it up to our three month visa. We will extend it as our visa extends. So we paid 120 English pounds. Conversions are here. Um, so yeah, we used a website called Mr. Prakan um, and it's actually a Thai website. I will actually add the link in the description again below. I have mentioned it on another video. So they give a price comparison. Uh, this was the cheapest option. Um, and there are again, you, you can use uh, Lonely Planets, use and I think Safety Wing, and I think there's um, Nomad um, Insurance as well. So th there's plenty of options out there. I will put some more links in the description in case you don't uh, haven't got this kind of insurance before and you want to look at all your different options. So next is your visa. Um, it is what it is. It's 50 English pounds conversion here. Um, that's the price of it. Um, I don't think it's any cheaper in any other countries, but if it is, please comment, let me know, um, so I can then add that onto another video. Um, so yeah, 50 English pounds for your visa. Um, after that, there's a form called a T8 form. Now, we paid, I paid 20 pounds because I wanted it done quite quickly. Um, and Chloe paid 10 pounds, she did it a bit earlier. So altogether we paid 30 pounds for that. So I'll put the conversions up here. Now, this was done online. We got told we have to do this before we came. So we paid for it, we had it, and then when we're on the plane, on the way here, uh, we got given this T8 form actually on the plane, and we filled it out, and we never had to give the one we paid for as we went through customs. So you can save yourself a little bit of money there by, um, by not paying for it online like we did. 
So your final thing you need to pay for is your PCR negative test. You need this regardless. So we paid uh, in the UK 165 English pounds, which is quite expensive. Um, basically they guaranteed us the same day um, results with a fit to fly certificate. Um, so again I'll put the conversions up here, it's going to be different for where you're coming from. Also we know we can get it cheaper, you can get it cheaper. Uh, I think I saw somewhere for £90 and we'd already booked in for our place £165. So again you'll be able to reduce the cost a little bit um, by having a bit more, doing a bit more research and finding somewhere a little bit cheaper to get that test done. So that is everything you need. So you've got your flights, you've got your visa, you've got your ASQ, you've got your um, PCR tests, you've got your insurance and your T8 form. So they're the things that cost. So total, how much did it cost altogether? So it costs 1,465 English pounds per person. Um, and that's before anything else, that's really before the accommodation that we booked after quarantine. So uh, when you come into Thailand, especially now, especially this year, um, just really have to consider these costs. Um, so I hope this was useful. I know it's kind of information we've mentioned in the video before, but I'm hoping this video is just something a bit quicker, something you can look at, you can jot down the numbers, and then you know yourself, if, if you can budget yourself and afford to travel to Thailand uh, at the moment. So um, please like, please subscribe, uh, and please make any comments, anything else you you want to know that why we're here, we're spending quite a bit of time in quarantine, so we've, we've got information and, and we're willing to share it with you. So uh, thanks very much, cheers.